It's my pleasure to uh, meet you all and thank you for your interest. I wanted uh, to tell you that three, about three weeks ago, the international community uh, commemorated with Ukrainians in Ukraine and around the world the first 365 days or the first year of the Russian all-out war against Ukraine that the Kremlin uh, had predicted and some pseudo-experts uh, in the West would last only three days. And notwithstanding the fact that during uh, that year the Russian army has killed our children, raped our women and girls, abused our elderly, used about every form of terrorism possible against the population, including the cold by ensuring that Ukrainians would not have access to electricity, as you have seen. So Ukrainians during this winter were living in very difficult conditions, very often in the dark, in the cold. There were abuses uh, in terms of food deprivation. Basically, any form of terrorism imaginable was used during that period of time. And notwithstanding that, the Ukrainians are more than ever determined to win this war. The most popular three letters amongst the Ukrainian population is ZSU, which represents Zbrojny Sily Ukraine, or the Ukraine Armed Forces. More than 95% of Ukrainians fully support the Armed Forces of Ukraine and believe that Ukraine will win this war. Amazingly, Notwithstanding the fact that the Russians have fired about 5,000 missiles during the past year on Ukraine, and about 97% of those missiles having targeted civil and not military infrastructure, Ukrainian, the Ukrainian army has managed to liberate over half of the territories that were illegally occupied by the Russian army. In, you, we've all seen the historic trip to Ukraine by the President of the United States on February 20th, where he came and told the international community that notwithstanding the fact that not many people believed that Ukrainians would be able to withstand such onslaught, that he came to deliver the following message, that after one year of this genocidal war, Kyiv stands, Ukraine stands, democracy stands, the Americans will stand with Ukraine and the world will stand with Ukraine. On April 27 of this year, the Parliament of Canada has declared that you, uh, the Russian army 
is committing acts of genocide against the Ukrainian population. And you will be able to see what an act of genocide looks like tonight. The National Assembly of Quebec has also declared on February 23rd of this year that the Russian army is committing acts with a genocidal char character. The international community has adopted in 1948 a convention on genocide. 152 countries have ratified this convention and including Canada and the most important undertaking under that convention is for the countries that are part of the genocide convention to prevent and to punish genocide. I certainly hope that when you watch this film and will be certainly horrified by numerous scenes, that you will not simply walk away at the end from this building, nodding your head in, in disbelief, but that you will continue to put pressure on the Canadian authorities in order to ensure that the Canadian authorities take the lead in order to ensure that NATO member countries support Ukraine for Ukraine to win this war in 2023. As I've said, Ukraine has liberated half of the occupied territories in 2022. And with the support of NATO member countries, Ukraine can liberate the other half in 2023. And it's not a matter for the various countries to come and to declare publicly how many javelins or tanks or any other form of weapon has been delivered and to say, we're doing a lot. Today, and that's the message that civil society, including all of you, should be delivering to our authorities. Today, it's not a question of how many this or that has been delivered to Ukraine. Today, the international community needs to have the same belief as the Ukrainian population that this war can be won in 2023. It's not a question for people to say, we think that this could happen. It's a question for people to say, we will ensure that it happens. And that the type of suffering that you will see during these films will cease in 2023. It's up to each one of us to ensure that a genocide that we are witnessing today is stopped and properly punished. I call upon you to ensure that that is done in 2023. Thank you in advance for doing that because I don't think that you will be able to walk out from those films doing anything other than the right thing. Thank you so much. Thank you.